What's up guys, welcome to a new video. Today we are going through a superset arms workout. I love this style of training because it's a high intensity training. We work biceps and triceps non-stop at the same time. Uh, and these two muscle groups are uh, antagonists, so this kind of work is great. Uh, I'm gonna start with triceps uh, and then biceps. You can do whatever you want. I also will say, uh, you must start with your weak uh, body part. For me, I want to improve my triceps, so I'm gonna start with the triceps. And yeah, it's gonna be a great workout, so let's start. So first exercise, we come here to the cable and we're gonna use the rope. And we're gonna use the rope for triceps and for biceps. We're just gonna move, you know, the cable from up to down. Uh, I'm gonna start with triceps, as I said. I love the rope because it allows me to squeeze a lot. Also the neutral grip, you know, like a hammer with the triceps, works my, all the health. And then we're gonna switch uh, the cable down for do like hammer curl, you know. I'm gonna start today with like the hammer curl because it's gonna work also the outside part of the biceps. Um, also it's gonna work my forearm, so it's gonna warm up my forearm. So this is gonna be like a warm up, but starting to get a good connection with the muscle. So let's go, three sets, 20, 15 reps each set. Nice and slow, control movement. You know, feel the muscle is the one that is pulling or you know, pressing. Uh, it's better than move too much weight, like you know, moving all your body. You know, focus on use the muscle that you want to improve so, and also squeeze in each rep. So, if you, if you see, I go slow, my tempo is slow. Now, I'm not following any tempo, like you know, negative or whatever. I'm just gonna, you know, go slow down. Go slow up, squeezing, feeling the muscle, uh, thinking about the muscle, and yeah, that's the best way, you know, keep the form and it's slow and nice. So let's go for the second superset, the, the two next exercises. The first one for triceps is gonna be overhead cable extension for the triceps, for the long head of the triceps. And then we're gonna superset with the spider curl that we're gonna do here in the inclined bench. You know, we're gonna do the curl here. Uh, both exercises are so good. Uh, it's really important to keep always one exercise, you know, overhead to work the long head of the triceps, and that way we are going to work all the parts of the triceps. And then this one is a curl, but in this position, we're gonna remove, you know, all the balance, all, all, the, all the power of the, the body, and we're just gonna use the biceps to curl. So this one is really good one. Uh, it's a, a, a really good one for isolation. So let's go for these two exercises.
thing of the super sets is the crazy pump. You're gonna feel that your muscles is gonna explode. Um, and also the good thing is the intensity. You know, it's no rest between the triceps exercise and the biceps exercise. So to keep the intensity high is always good. So I always push you in your workouts to don't have any rest, more than 60 seconds. Uh, but today we're gonna do both exercises and then we're gonna take the rest of 60 seconds. Uh, but we are gonna finish earlier the workout, so that's good also. And yeah, and the pump is crazy. So you must to try super set and workout. So guys, this is a quick tip. I'm doing overhead triceps extension here in the cable seated with a rope. So what happens is if you go heavy, because I need to go heavier in each set, sometimes with the rope is uh, harder or it can be can hurt too much in the joints. So what I do is when I want to go heavier, heavy, heavy, I take a bar and the heavy sets I go with the bar. It's like easier, but um, to me it's like I can push better. So for me it's like, okay, I'm gonna move more weight, but I want to keep the form and don't have any like uh, hurting my wrist or my elbow. So when you go heavier, change with the barbell. For the third superset, the two exercises that we're gonna do is first for triceps, I'm gonna do reverse triceps extension, single arm. Okay, we're gonna take the grip in the reverse, and we're gonna do first one arm and then the other one. And we must start with a weak arm. Okay, I'm gonna start with the left elbow, um, and then for biceps, we're gonna do curl with dumbbell, seated dumbbell, dumbbell curl, and again, we're gonna do all the reps with the weakest uh, arm first and then we're gonna switch to the other one so in this way in these two exercises we're gonna work single arm you know this is good when we have any imbalance in the body or also if uh, it's more weak in terms of strength so you must start with your weak side so in this way today we are going to do these two exercises single arm so let's start with the triceps and then we move to the biceps
So for biceps, really important to skip the momentum. Uh, don't use all your body, you know, to curl. Squeeze at the top and then hold, you know, and stretch. I don't do uh, alternating uh, dumbbell curl because I want to, you know, get the failure in one arm and then move to the other one. You know, I'm just using light weight. It's not, not too heavy, uh, but I do each each rep with the biceps. You know, that's the that's when you do it just with the biceps is harder. So now we're going for the fourth superset. The two exercises that we're gonna do is close grip bench press. In this way, we wanna work our triceps and also our chest. Uh, but because we did all the exercises for triceps, like isolation, triceps movement, now we're gonna go to this one that is compound movement, and we can move a bit more weight. And also because we pre the, the triceps already is like uh, uh, tired, so the muscle is gonna be keep working on this exercise. And then for the biceps, we're gonna do preacher curls with uh, bar. Um, and yeah, this two is gonna be the last one for the arms, for the triceps and biceps. And then we will do some forearms. But now we're gonna finish four sets in these two exercises, non-stop, first triceps, then biceps. Let's go. So in the close grip uh, bench press for triceps, elbows in, uh, and we push with the triceps and then we squeeze at the top. Uh, you must be careful with the grip, you must to be uh, comfortable, you know. You need to feel that you don't hurt your waist, so don't go too close, also don't too wide. It must to be a position that you push comfortable, triceps, you know. As you, when you do also like a, you know, a push-up, a diamond push-up, you know. Uh, like if you are, you don't want to do this one um, to finish, you can do the diamond push-up. So you put like the hands like that in the floor and you do push-ups. It's also a good finisher for, for triceps. To me, it's like I want to keep working the triceps heavy. So I go to this exercise where I can move heavy weight. exercise, a last superset exercise, just focused in the forearms. Uh, a lot of you asked me about exercise for, you know, get stronger, bigger or more strength in your forearms. So I'm gonna do a superset of two exercises that are so simple and are great for me and my favorites. So one is gonna be reverse curl, standing curl with the barbell. So we're gonna take this grip in the barbell, we're gonna do the curl, but we're gonna feel that we work more the brachial and also you know this part of the brachial the forearm and then with the same barbell we're gonna superset doing curl for the forearms just you know uh, doing curl of the wrist um, and yeah that's gonna work this part and um, you're gonna feel the pump and um, because it's gonna be superset you wanna get a crazy pump here too so that two exercises are simple ones uh, it's a lot of variations for the for that kind of curl. You, you can do here, you can do here. So also with the barbell, you can take strike barbell or east barbell. But the most important is to these two kind of movements. So let's do it and let's finish this workout with four arms.
feel crazy pump here like it hurts uh, because like for me like I don't do always I don't do always like this body part so when I do it, get, it gets crazy pump and it hurts you know but it's good it's good uh, now I just did the reverse curl standing reverse curl and standing worst curls so next one next set I'm gonna show you different one I again again I'm gonna, I'm gonna do the reverse curl but then I'm gonna use the bench and I'm gonna do uh, face up uh, worst worst curl so it's gonna be uh, the same movement with a bit different you know position uh, it's good you to try and the best one that you feel you must to do it part and uh, you want to isolate your back that's why I, I use straps uh, because with the straps I forget to be focused on the grip when I'm doing a uh, back so I can focus more and squeeze my lats and squeeze the back but it's important to have a strong uh, forearms you know for the grips for the deadlift but always keep a balance because you don't want to have uh, huge arms and don't have any back so just keep the balance, you know, analyze your, your physique, your body, and work on the weak points. That's super important. So feeling super crazy pump in my arms right now. Uh, just finished the workout, uh, really good workout for me. Uh, I want you to try, because I, I know that you're gonna feel really good. Uh, good pump, the intensity is really good. If you keep uh, just 60 seconds rest between the supersets, it's gonna be a super intense workout and really fast workout. Um, you're gonna feel a crazy pump in your triceps and your biceps. As I said, uh, you must to work in your weak body parts. Uh, for me, that's why I started in, in, with the triceps. Uh, but if your biceps is weaker, just to start the superset doing biceps exercise and then triceps. Um, so yeah, try this workout and also comment uh, below uh, how you feel if you did the workout. Uh, give a like to the video if you want to see more videos like this one and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and remember be legend